Your life story is really a tale of God's handiwork in and through you. But a lot of us don't even know we have one. As we discover it and share it in the power of the Holy Spirit, you will be amazed at the fruits that result from it. In fact, the definition of successfully sharing and developing your life story is to take the initiative to discover and develop your life story and then to share it in the power of the Holy Spirit and leaving the results up to God. Let's begin by looking at some do's and don'ts of writing a life story. Number one, ask the Lord for wisdom and guidance. The first thing you want to do is to ask the Lord for wisdom and guidance as you write. Now this may seem obvious, but you'll be amazed at how many people skip this step. The reason we do this is that our story is really a co-authorship with God. It's His story lived out through us. Number two, stick to your time limit. We want you to be able to tell your story in three minutes or less. Now, while this may seem impossible to do, you'd be amazed how much information you can get into three minutes. Number three, write the way you speak. If you face difficulty in the beginning, find a Christian friend to start telling him or her about your story. Ask your friend to help you take down notes of what you share. These notes will help you later on in writing out your life story. Number four, be realistic. Don't imply that Christ removes all of life's problems, but that He does provide the grace and the strength to walk through them in obedience. We know through scriptures that God is glorified through weakness. His power is perfected through it. Number five, choose appropriate illustrations. There will be many illustrations in your life that you can choose from, but pick ones that will be most appropriate for your audience. Number six, avoid Christianese. You know, our language. Words such as sin, converted, and sanctified, they mean a lot to us as Christians. But frankly, people who don't know the Lord have no clue what they are. Number seven, avoid statements that reflect negatively on the church. Don't make statements that reflect negatively on the church, other denominations, or people. When you are preparing your life story, there are really three elements to it. Your life before Christ, how you came to know Christ, and your life since. The first part of your story focuses on your life before you began a relationship with Christ. What were your attitudes, your needs, and problems? What were the primary drivers of your life? Once you have determined your driver, you need to think of an illustration of how this driver is manifested in your life. Choose one example. The key here is that whatever illustration you choose, it will be a part of your third section. It will answer the question, what changed? The second part of your story is all about how you came to know Christ. For those of you who came to Christ at a young age, think of the point in your life where your faith became yours when it was made firm. The third part of your life story answers the question, so what? Or, what changed? It goes back to your original illustration, the one you used at the beginning in the first part of your story. And it shows how God has been progressively helping you to grow and to mature in Him. Be careful that you don't give the impression that you're perfect when you share this part of your life story. 